Hi, welcome to the channel today. And today I'm gonna to be going over peaches and some of the problems you have with peaches. Uh, I've been out a lot this past year, really. So I haven't been able to take care of these peaches like I should have. And I've got nectarines we're gonna look at. And the problem that you have when you don't take care of them. So this one has been neglected, but we still made a fruit. We had a really good winter. There's plenty of chill hours. So our fruit set. And this tree surprised me because I went out here to go spray some fungicide. And you don't want to spray fungicide by the label at least 10, or the fungicide I use, at least 10 days before harvest. So I was thinking I had more time because this is only, you know, this is the latter part of, of, of April. So I'm thinking, well, I still got time because usually this stuff doesn't start ripening until mid, mid May to late May. Well, this year it's earlier. So I kind of got caught. So this is one of the peach trees I've got. It's one of the, it's got some really nice looking peaches on it. They're nice and big. I should have thinned more. This is way too many peaches to put on one limb. So you run the risk of breaking the limb or breaking its whole limb because it's got way too many peaches on it. The other problem I'm having since I didn't spray for, for the, I was out of town with my wife, she's in the hospital. And since I was out of town, I wasn't able to spray the fungicide really when I needed to, when I was small. The thing about, and what we're gonna be talking about, it's called brown rot. So what gets on peaches is what ruins them a lot of times right before they ripen. The bad thing about it is that that uh, fung, fung, uh, that fungi can get on that peach, sit on that peach, not do anything to it until right before it starts to ripen, and then it takes it out. Does it do anything? No good to spray it if it gets it late, if it gets it early, because it's on there. Your spray doesn't kill the fungicide. It, keep, it keeps it keeps doesn't kill the fungi. It keeps the fungi from. Uh, being able to reproduce and, and to set on that fruit. So if it's already there, it's not gonna kill it. So this is what happens. This is called brown rot. You'll see all the little spores all around here. So you know, this fruit's no good. It's not gonna make. So what you wanna do, you wanna pick this fruit off. You're gonna throw it in a bucket. And you're gonna haul the thing off because those spores will spread out and you can spread to the rest of the fruit. We've got one over here that's a little further along on it. And sometimes you'll see these. That's just gonna be a mummified fruit and it'll sit there. And you wanna take them out because it, it may just sit there, may not throw out the spores until next year. So if you see the fruit like this on peaches or plums, take them off, throw them in a bucket and haul them off. Now, you've seen we had a few there. This is my nectarine tree. It's a good nectarine tree as far as it puts on a lot of fruit. It's a very vigorous grower, but it gets brown rot like crazy. And this is just starting out. See all these fruits that got brown rot on them. And honestly, almost all these fruits can end up getting brown rot. So all these fruits have to be taken off and thrown away. And, you know, I'll probably look like you get, you know, we got some bigger ones in there that might go ahead and ripen. Uh, but I had last year probably 95, 99%, you know, uh, loss on these trees uh, for that brown rot. Again, if you're going to have peach trees in a humid area, you're going to need to spray these fungicide early on. As soon as the petals fall off and you start seeing the fruit, spray them at that, at that level. Spray about every, if, spray about every three weeks. Uh, I put down, I think Infuse is what I use. It's a pretty good one for brown rot. Uh, so, and, and you can still get brown rot even though you're going through that regimen. But about every three weeks, you're going to need, need to spray. Maybe every two to three weeks, you're going to need to spray it. Stop about, try to stop a month before you think the fruit's gonna ripen. That way, all the fungicide will be out of the tree because it is, a, it is a systemic fertilizer. When you spray it on, it gets into the leaves, gets into the fruit. So you have to leave, leave time for that chemical to break down uh, so you don't wanna be eating poison. And, uh, but that's kind of that part of it. And we're gonna go over and look at another part. I'm gonna show you where, where fruit is really, really, should have been thin more. Okay, this is the tree. I have actually thinned some on this one earlier on, but then you get around and doing it again and see how many fruits on this thing. And it's got this tree all bent over. Uh, like I say, I'm running the risk of breaking this main trunk here because uh, you're supposed to get rain today. So, and I may go ahead and thin off some of these so I get a chance. And, uh, you know, all this brown rod is hitting this one too. Because we're, and that's going to happen. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of it until. You know, this year's like it's been hit pretty hard. It, it accumulates. When you first put it in your orchard, if you're not in a place you got a lot of peaches in it, you're not going to have much of it. 
This year I didn't get to spray it on time, so it makes it even worse. But after three to four years, maybe five years, that's when it starts hitting. And that's when you want to try to clean up all the fruit that you can because this can get worse and worse if you don't try to control it. But uh, that's the brown rot. That's kind of the brown rot and Plumpicurlio is a worm that gets in them. That's the two biggest problems you have with growing peaches in the south southeast part of, of Texas. And it's just, you know, also you need to have well-drained soils. But they're not really made for this area. So that's just two things you can keep hitting you. You got to try to stay on top of it or you start getting this. Uh, like I say, you do need to thin your, your, your uh, peaches. And like I say, this one here doesn't look quite as bad, but it's still got this thing leaned over. And, uh, but anyway, so I learned from my mistakes. Uh, next year, hope my wife hopefully will be doing a lot better. She is uh, back home and uh, recuperating and, and uh, hope to keep can you getting stronger. But just letting y'all know that you, know, you got you to gotta thin these peach trees. And, uh, and you also got to control your brown rock. Anyway, thanks for watching. And one more thing, uh, this sound like Columbo, or you older people. Uh, one other thing I didn't talk about prevention is there are is certain varieties of peaches, plums, and nectarines, especially nectarines, you get it bad regardless. With the brown rot, certain varieties get it worse than others. So you do want to kind of look out. It's just another peach tree that I've got. Uh, like I say, it shows where it would make bigger peaches if I had them thinned it, but you know, I didn't. But certain varieties will get uh, the uh, brown rot worse. And really, some of the newer varieties, they took all the fuzz off the peaches and that allows the brown rot to get in and to touch the peach flesh easier and it makes it worse. That's why on your nectarines, when you see a nectarine tree, it's getting really bad. It doesn't have any protection as far as that fuzz. If you get some of the older varieties that were fuzzier peaches, they won't get brown rot as bad. Of course, you gotta put up the fuzz, but you know, I, I can wipe off fuzz if you can. But that's just something to also think about. Uh, there is a uh, gardening forum called uh, growingfruit.org. They go and kind of deep dive into it, and they're very good. They're, they're people that, that do this for a living, and they give a lot of good insights into what to spray, how to spray, when to spray. So you might look that up also. and. Uh, you know, if you got one or two peach trees, you can still, you know, it's still worth spraying. You just have to kind of put it on your calendar, mark on it. Uh, anyway, just kind of wanted to, to, to touch on that because there is certain varieties that no matter what you do, you're going to get brown rot. So try to figure out which varieties those are. I don't have a list. There's, there's you know, hundreds, of varieties, hundreds of varieties of peach trees out there. But uh, try to get some that, that I try to get some that, that ripen early for me because I'm figuring there's less time for that uh, brown rot to get on the fruit and, and ruin it. Um, but whether or not that's true or not, that, that's kind of philosophy I go to. I don't try to have a lot of peaches that's going to ripen in July because that's just a long time for that, a lot more spraying and a lot more time for that to be able to uh, invade the fruit. Anyway, one of those tips I want to say. Anyway, second time, thanks.